What's going on, everybody? This is Terminator Juice, and this is going to be a Juice Opinions that's not live, so it's just going to be one specific topic. I'm recording this. I'll upload it. It is Saturday, the 12th of February, three days since the Nintendo Direct, and I'm going to talk about that in a Juice is Loose podcast, um, but I want to talk about one specific game and something I just can't shake, a feeling, um, thoughts. I, I posted or tweeted kind of posed a question trying to get a conversation going no one really no one really joined i mean robert and i had a little back and forth about something kind of unrelated but um yeah so the question i just want to ask is does nintendo switch sports suggest that maybe nintendo has lacked uh, lost some confidence in the wii sports ip and by that i mean the confidence that people care and will buy the game um that's that's the feeling I have, and which I'll go over in a second. Um, but you know, do you think that this is some this shows you that they might have maybe lost some confidence? Whether the amount of confidence is up for debate, um, I think this is them dipping their toes back into the motion control Wii Sports game, and instead of going all in, that's kind of hard to deny. I mean, they obviously. Um, took what I forget the phrase somebody used it's actually you know there's less stuff in it than Wii Sports Resort so it's a sequel to Wii Sports Resort but it's not a downgrade but it's like a step backwards it feels almost more like a soft reboot for, to me um, you know that's just that's just my opinion you know I'm not trying I'm not suggesting to not be excited or you know, suggest anybody don't buy this. I'm not saying this as a negative. I just kind of, everything I've seen just kind of leads me to believe that maybe Nintendo, they're just not as confident in this IP anymore. Um, and Wii Sports Club might be the reason that abysmal failure, you know, Wii Fit U didn't, um, didn't do well on the Wii U, which, you know, the Wii U didn't do well, but those two games were very, very casual, friendly motion control, you know, uh, style games and the fact that the Wii dropped off in the last two years the sales really just tanked you know so even though Wii Sports Resort I believe sold like 40 million copies something like that it was it was a lot so suggest that this is a very strong franchise um, and with the switch being over 112 million whatever it is now I don't know why they would be dipping their toe in or not going all in because the stars are aligned for this to have a, res a resurgence for Wii Sports. Um, yeah, you, you know, no reason to keep the Wii name, obviously. Um, Mies are not on the forefront, which is fine. I like the art style they're going with. The characters are very similar, but just as an improvement over Wii or Mies, in my opinion. So, so here's the things that really stood out to me. So, I'm gonna re reenact my reaction. So at first, oh, this is a uh, um, new entry in the in the Wii Sports franchise. I was through the roof, man. I was so excited. I was even I even shouted out loud. I was like, "All right, here we go, let's go!" You know, um, grinning ear to ear. They show the first three sports, you know, staples. You got tennis, then bowling, then chambara or whatever the sword fighting one. I was like, "All right, you know, cool." And then. You know, it's almost like time stopped and my mind just starts racing with, you know, the potential for a new Wii Sports on the Switch. And I never owned Wii Sports Resort. I rented it once or twice. I know I rented it once for sure, but I might have rented it a second time. And uh, I was like, all right, you know, online, this is going to be awesome. And then they said the phrase, plus three additional sports. And I was like, Mm, my excitement literally just came to a dead stop and just I was plateauing and then they showed the soccer and I was like mm, that doesn't look very good and my excitement started to go slightly downhill the badminton I was like really <laughs> we already have tennis you know I table tennis was a was one of my favorites on Wii Sports Resort maybe badminton will be fun but it's very similar plateaued a little bit and then i saw the volleyball and i was like yeah i don't i don't know about that and then they did the 
demo the demonstration with uh, Koizumi and it was cringeworthy I um it wasn't very it wasn't it wasn't very well done I didn't think but this just watching the actual gameplay is like man that that does not look fun I'd rather play arms volleyball any day every day from what I've seen from that so so my excitement was going up and it stopped and then it da- took a downhill slide and then they said well golf's coming in the fall and I'm like really you, you don't even have like everything ready and i it became just you know just shaking my head what could have been you know for me that's that's how i felt i thought it was going to be a 60 dollar game so i was like hell no found out it's 39.99 i was like all right that's better but at the same time why is it 40 dollars? why is this a 40 dollar game like this is been 12 years a very popular franchise you have this hugely successful switch why why aren't they going all in with this so then basically the last three days that's all i've been thinking about it's like what could have been yeah that's you know for whatever anybody and everybody's gonna have different ideas but i'm just looking at the facts here 40 dollars. you got six sports at launch you gotta wait till the fall till golf which was one of my top three um that i would have wanted in there and it just doesn't really have that i know wii sports was never like the most um ambitious game but wii sports resort was pretty was pretty ambitious and maybe they felt that was too much but this feels almost like a soft reboot of wii sports with oh and we'll give you these three additional sports like wait really how how many did resort have like dozen I mean, so many different variations. It just feels to me like, like I said, I don't think they have confidence in the IP still appealing to gamers and selling. And I think that's the wrong approach. Might be the smart business decision because this might sell 20 million copies either way. It might not make a difference to most people. But to see them like do a Mario Kart 8 type treatment to this, like from Mario Kart Wii to Mario Kart 8, and just we're going all in we're taking all that money from mario kart wii and we're we're gonna make this the best looking the best playing you know one of the best you know racing games most fun racing games ever it's gonna have all this effort put into it and looks incredible plays incredible and everybody loves it to this day eight years later people are still playing it and dlc's coming out for it I'm not saying that that's what they absolutely needed to do, but I'm surprised that they're going so minimalistic with this, um, being how successful, it, just going off Wii Sports Resort. So, I don't know, what do you guys think? Is this perfectly fine for you? Or are you just happy to have something? See, I'm not one of those people that's like, just happy to have something. I'd rather, if you're not gonna do it right, don't do it at all kind of mentality and I'm not saying this isn't done right at all, but definitely went from a must-own, the idea of it, to I might pick it up type of thing. So, I don't know. I I feel like I'm probably the only one in the Nintendo community who feels this way. Um, But I just really feel like they should have and could have done way more bringing back the Wii Sports IP. And they just chose not to. And also, it just doesn't feel like this game has been in development very long since the the kicking thing's not ready for the main soccer mode. And the I mean, golf's the fall like we're, we're nine like six months away. Like, did they even start it? Like, I didn't even I didn't even think until just this second. Like, what's the Joy Cons? How that how accurate or how well is that going to translate? into the actual joy cons i don't use a lot of motion control with the joy cons um with stuff like that so that's something to even be thinking about too is like how is this actually going to play well with the joy cons compared to the wii remote and wii motion plus so yeah that's just my thoughts um most importantly just the question in the beginning um do you feel like this is nintendo showing they don't have as much confidence in the ip that's not a negative I don't actually blame them after, like I said, the Wii sales drops off, the Wii Sports Club, which de- deservedly so was a complete abysmal failure. Um, but at the same time, you know, 
you should come out swinging with with confidence and uh but either way you know the game's gonna sell well and maybe that's all that matters um you know whether whether it's a, a mario party with everyone's like oh this this should have way more um boards on it doesn't matter it's gonna sell 10 15 20 million so that could be it or it could just be they're not that confident and wanted to see what the audience was like gonna be for this game um but anyway that's it for this video uh leave me comments below and let me know what you think and we'll see you in the next video